Hi everyone, my name is Patrick Vidros. I'm a senior biology major. I've been doing research in the Department of Pharmacology and Nutritional Science under Dr. El Siraj in the CASAS lab. So I wanted to open up with a fact about the prevalence of aortic aneurysms. Every year, 200,000 Americans will be diagnosed with an abdominal aortic aneurysm. And if you're thinking that a problem with your aorta is never a good thing, then you're absolutely right. Cardiovascular disease remains to be the number one killer of Americans and even humans globally today. What I've been looking at is a specific form of aortic disease called an aortic aneurysm. So for those who don't know, the aorta is the central blood vessel that supplies oxygenated blood to the rest of your body. An aneurysm is where specific proteins will eat away at the walls of the aorta, causing this bulge that we see here. This bulge is scary because it can go to the point of rupture and almost certain death. My lab has previously shown that this specific serotonin receptor, called the 5-HT3R receptor, was more highly expressed in male mice who are more prone to aortic disease than females. So we had also previously seen that if we managed to block the receptor activity, we could see less areas of aortic disease. So that's a good sign. The purpose of this study then was to try to increase the receptor and bring it back up and see what would happen and see if, see if we had the same results. So we did exactly that. We took our four male mice, we separated the aortas into a thoracic and abdominal region. That is just an upper and lower region. After many steps of, steps of isolation, we isolated the cells that make up the aorta, which are smooth muscle cells. Then we ran our cells through a gel to measure the amount of MMP2 enzyme product that they would make. MMP2 is one of those hallmark enzyme proteins that eats away and causes this bulging that we see in aneurysm. And if you ever thought that real estate and biology had nothing in common, I encourage you to think again. Just like when you want to sell your house, we saw that location matters, and we got different results for our upper and lower sections. Our upper section didn't see a significant difference between our treatment groups. Group one was our untreated control group. Group two was our angiotensin two group. Angiotensin two is just a molecule we like to add to accelerate the disease process so we have a nice diseased model to study. Group three was our molecule that would increase the receptor activity. And group four was, again, our disease model from our ANG2 and our increased receptor activity molecule. And things got really interesting when we got to the lower sections. We saw a significant difference between the areas or our treatment groups. We saw that when we increased the receptor activity, there was way more aortic disease, hence shown by the more MMP2 product. So this is really fascinating. This is the first time that this uh, sort of effect of a stimulatory molecule and, uh, has been reported on aortic aneurysms. Immediately down the line, we'd like to take a look at why this effect is so different between the different regions in our female mice as well, who do not exhibit this kind of one-sided effect of disease. It, further down the line, we'd like to look, explore this as a preventative route for maybe decreasing the amount and development of aortic aneurysms that we see in the future. This study is really just one big step of a larger puzzle, and we'd like to use this to further our understanding about aortic aneurysms and how they can develop. Thank you. I wondered if you could clarify for, the, for me the, the slide. The bottom, you, there's obviously a differentiation between what's going on with the cells in the thoracic and the, in the, in the abdominal region. Is the bottom chart the thoracic? Yes. So. Okay, I, I would have suggested you flip those so that they line up with the, with the rest of your slide. You've got thoracic mm -hmm. on top and abdominal on the bottom, okay. which is logical given the location on the, right. on the cell. So um, that was the one thing I just wanted to make. So it is the, the, the thoracic, thoracic that you're seeing that, yes. that change? Yeah, it's that upper section that's showing us those uh, okay. differentiable results. Okay. And do you have any speculation as to why there's a difference between uh, male and female mice? So, interestingly, uh, in the literature, it's been shown that females have a different um, betrayal of disease than males. Males will have um, the disease concentrated in one region, where females might have the disease concentrated throughout the two different regions. So, as to exploring why that is, we'd like to explore maybe gene, different, uh, gene expression differences between the two regions to see if there's maybe more receptors in one area for males versus females to see if that's maybe the reason that's causing different 
um, methodologies of disease. And is that only in the mice, or is there any evidence of that occurring in humans? So this is only in the mice, or, or in the cells. This, these, these are cells that we've used. Further down the line, we'd like to use uh, a nice mouse model. But the, the, the gender differentiation, or am I missing that? Oh, um, no, that, that is also in humans. Males are m way more likely to experience aortic okay. disease. Yeah. Thank you. So you said the key word, never seen before in the literature. So has this been disclosed? <laughs> <laughs> so or do you know? It this, is, this is the first report that I've seen of um, a stimulatory effect um, in the literature. So as to like something like commercializing this, mm -hmm. I'm not sure where we could go with that, but okay. I'd love to do something about All that. Right. Okay, well, so my other question is, do you know what causes the aneurysm? So you mentioned, you know, seeing certain things in male and female mice, but what, what's the actual cause? So the, it's normal, normally caused through injury, and there's other risk factors such as smoking, um, also predispositions being male, having a genetic history of uh, cardiovascular disease. So things like that kind of lead to this buildup and an inflammatory response that kind of sees that bulging effect.